last time on Stein's Gate, we made our decision. And we said our uh, silent goodbyes to Kudisu. And now we're back. Presumably, to end this, all she left is a single email. I sit down on the sofa. While drying my hair with a towel, I look toward the PC in the corner of the room. I feel like that's a missed opportunity for uh, an achievement. It's already connect connected to the IBM 5100, ready for Doru to stop start hacking. I feel like that's the point where this would have unlocked. starts tomorrow at noon. I drove myself even further into a corner by telling that to Dark. Now I can't turn back now. No matter how much I want to, I choose my duty. I will let Kurisu die. Showering didn't soften the wrenching pain in my heart. In truth, I'm just writing on Kurisu's resolve. Mine is still a flimsy thing. I can't help but wonder, is this really okay? Mayuri opens the door and enters. For a moment after she catches the sight of me, she looks ready to burst into tears. She really is empathetic, isn't she? That quickly gives way to a smile. She knows that that's what we need right now, right? A smile. Swallow hard. I mean, I should explain the situation to my Yuri. But I know she'll feel guilty if I tell her. Maybe doesn't need to know. Everything will be okay as long as we crack Surin's database and reach the beta world line. Really let it end like this? Shouldn't I tell her what Kurisu is sacrificing for her sake? No. Well, I say no, but not in the way that you seem to be wording it. Because you'd be burdening a girl who seems to be having dreams about all her nightmares already, dreams about her deaths already. With the fact that someone else is going to die to keep her alive. And that's just great. Mary moves behind the sofa, grabs the, grabs the bath towel on my head, and starts rubbing my hair dry. Oh. I didn't mind the towel so much, but then she buries her nose into my hair and starts sniffing. <laughs> I jerk my head away. Oh. Mary goes back to drying my hair. Okay. コミマ行かなかったよ。Oh, you didn't have to do that. Should I tell her? Or should I keep her in the dark? Well, 
we need to tell her something. Mayuri. Moshi ore ga. Omae ni kakushigoto o shiteru te ittara. Masterful subtlety. Jitsu wa. Okarin to Chris chan wa. Tsukiyatte imasu. That'd be fit. That'd be fantastic, but unfortunately, it's not quite that. Okarin to Chris chan wa totte mo naka ga ii desho. Oh no. Tari wa oniai da to mo na. Oh no. Sonna hanashi o shite iru n janai nda. Ah. Um. Zenbu. Hanashite hoshii nante omotte nai yo. どっちかっていうと何も教えてもらえないのが普通だもんそんな話をしているんじゃないんだ。マイリーズ、ハンドリーズ、マイヘッド、スナップ、アンハー。ヘッドがお前の後ろに、パニック、パニック、パニック、パ
そして俺はこの後お前のために仲間を犠牲にするつもりだ Anxiety clouds my Yuri's face, but I ignore it and take her chin in my fingers. The switch is already flipped inside of me. Seize a cock, I said, Gaini. Conore Kyoki no mad scientist of the Aru Ho in Kyoma Gaokona Tikta. Also, the big show girl of Kazgas of Kitana. <laughs> so I begin, speaking as the mad scientist whose foolish experiments brought everything to ruin. I start with the first raid on the lab. I tell Mayuri how Moaka killed her. Next I tell her about Suzuha and Ferris, about Lukago, Moaka, FB, and Nai. I describe their fates in every detail. And finally, I tell her about Kurisu. Snawachi! マキセクリスを生贄にえとして、俺は新たなる世界へと旅立つのだ。We talked through midnight. There's a lot to explain, and Mayuri kept asking questions, desperate to understand the strange concepts I was throwing at her. She's trying. Thanks to that, the conversation went longer than expected. It's already getting late. 以上が、この俺、ホーインキョマが考えた壮大なる計画。その名も。メイドインヘブンであるなぜそんな顔をしているマユリシェイクスヘッドバイツレ We tried to keep it that way. お前が責任を感じる必要はないのだ。すべてはこの俺による計画なのだからな。Yeah, it's my fault. 幻滅したカマユリ。だが俺は仲間を平気で犠牲にできる男。故にお前がベータ世界線に行きたくないと言っても、それを聞き入れるつもりはない。お前には俺の人質として絶対に最後まで付き合ってもらうぞ<笑>世界に訪れる混沌これこそがシュタインズゲートの選択なのだ Mary ignores my performance She gets to her feet and lurches toward the door The door? My Yuri Quickly grab her by the wrist おいどこ行くクリスちゃんに会いに行かなきゃ、oh, no. ねえオカリクリスちゃんに会いたいよ、oh, no. There's no way I can refuse my Yuri's request I contacted クリス We arranged to meet on the UPX overpass at 4.30 in the morning I was wondering why she wanted to meet so early, but I understand once I see her. She's dragging a large suitcase. She faces us with a smile. Some suitcase. Masaka. Huh? Ah, so you got it. Come on, go. America. Kurisu nods. 
予定より長めの滞在になっちゃったもう私が手伝えることもないだろうし後腐れなくって意味でもいいでしょ What, <笑> She tried to outrun her fear. It's not my right to stop her. Even if I did, it wouldn't change anything. Today, as planned, I will crack CERN's database and move to the beta world mine. I made my decision. The lady is next to me, standing still with her head held. Mayuri? What's the matter? For a second, then leaps on Kurisu with a cry. Kurisu-chan! Oh no. Kurisu-chan hears a desperate plea in Mayuri's voice. She gives me a look that asks, Did you tell her? They silently nod. それは許されない俺はマユリを選んだのだマユリには救われる義務があるのだクリスはお前のために命を投げ出すという契約をこの俺と交わしたそれを保護にすれば最悪がこの地を襲うだろうクリスの思いを無駄にするなマユリー私はもう自分の中で結論を出したし納得もしてるから知ってるあんたって岡部にものすごい愛されてるってあれな,な何を言い出すのだ Now's not the time for goofy reactions, Okabe. 事実でしょ She gives me a mischievous smile. だからマユリが死んだら岡部はすごく悲しむ岡部にそんな思いさせたくないでしょでもクリスちゃんがいなくなったらマユシーは悲しいよそうね会えなくなると寂しいかなでもどうせ私は生きてたってアメリカに帰るつもりだったわけだしだから別の世界線に行っても私はアメリカにいるものだと思えばそう大した違いはないそういう問題じゃないもんクリスちゃんが消えちゃうのが嫌なんだもんねえやめよクリスちゃんが消えることないよ Kurisu separates from Mayuri and gazes straight into her face. She uses a gentle tone as if speaking to a child. And she lightly bumps Mayuri on the head. And she ascends. Mayuri no teo hanashi cha dame yo. Wakatteru. 
それじゃあ私は行くからもう二度と岡部の顔見なくて済むと思うと先生するわ She punctuates her insult with a smile. What a dork. She's so cheerful, cheerful now. A far cry from the shivering girl in the dark. To see her like this breaks my heart. I'm sorry. Repeat the words of my heart again and again, begging for, for forgiveness. Arisu turns to go. Over her shoulder. Mayuri freezes. Don't you want to see the With that, Kurisu walks away. Early morning Akihabara, well before sunrise. The trains are just starting to run. She disappears into the station, dragging her suitcase behind her, alone. Mayuri falls to her knees, her face streaked with tears. As I approach, I hear, I hear her voice. お前が謝る必要はない。全ては。この俺の決断だ。クリスには。消えてもらう。俺は。クリスを助けない。そして世界には俺が望む混沌が訪れるのだ。俺が許せないか。マユリ。ならば恨めばいい。だがそれでもお前には最後まで付き合ってもらう。俺はお前を救うためにクリスを見殺しにするだからお前がどれだけ俺を恨もうと俺の意見に反対しようともう後戻りするつもりは Mary slowly stands up and she buries her face into my chest, just like what she did to Kurisu. By a burden. Not the male. Not the rock and I don't know. I 
がとうおかりありがとう Erdi tries her hardest to smile through her tears Then once again she buries her face into my chest いつも見てた怖い夢もそこに出てくるかっこいいオカリンもきっと夢なんかじゃなかったんだね Now they make sense. ずっとマユシーを助けようとしてくれてたんだねねえオカリンマユシーはねオカリンのこと大好きだよオカリンがいてくれるからマユシーは毎日笑っていられるんだよこれからもずっと一緒にいていい当たり前だアンチャマユリ with my embrace そんなの当たり前だろう一緒にいてくれないと俺が嫌だしたからあ幸せにしてくださいあ話さないでくださいあずっと大好きでいさせてくださいあ Suddenly it's daylight The radiance of the rising sun pours out between the buildings. Daybreak. As the sky grows brighter, we remain in our embrace, as if to reassure, reassure each other that we are still here. We have work to do, Okarin. Oh! So, this is the operation Verdandi. The phase of 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 Take a look around the lab. These 20 days have seen constant change. It's incredible to think that at one point this lab had a whole eight members. And now we're back to three. The originals, the OGs, the memories we made, the experiences we shared. To save my Yuri, I will undo them all. There is sorrow in me, and guilt. I engrave them deep inside. Still, I choose to erase our memories. I choose to return everything to normal. Susan's mission is irrelevant. I'm not doing this for the future. As long as Mayuri lives, nothing else matters. Darwin, commence. Commence. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Start hacking, super hacker. Darwin starts typing on the IBM 5100. It's already connected to his main computer. This will get us in a certain central database, where they keep the data they mine with Echelon. Then we will locate the first email I sent on July 28th, and erase all trace of its existence. With this, I can reach the beta world line. At last, Mayuri will be safe. Hey, look at Mayuri. She's on the couch, sitting straight as a rat around, with her grandmother's pocket watch pressed to her ear. She stays still, with her eyes closed. Mayuri wants to calm down. She listens to the sound of the pocket watch. Ever since we parted with Kurisu, Mayuri has said nothing about my choice. I guess she's come to terms with it in her own way. The actual work I've left to Dar. No problem there. While waiting for him to finish, I walk into the development room. In the center of the room is the time lead machine. I squat down and gently brush my fingers against the microwave surface. It's cool to the touch. I've made irre irreplaceable friends because of this thing. And because of this thing, I've hurt them. I don't want to blame the tool. It's how you use the tool that matters. I've got to admit, it saved me more than once. But still, once this is over, I'll destroy the time leap machine. I must never make the same mistakes again. Okay, 
マジであったぞこれあったのか俺が送った D メールが<笑>しっかり残ってるよナイスダーラポイントとはストリングのキャラクターズマネームスターフォローバイザメッセージフロードバウトクリスウィズデッドフリーラインストールイチトゥーフキャラクターズロー This data led Sir to our doorstep. At FB's instruction, Moaka and the Rounders attacked. If Suza is right, then by erasing this data, we will escape from a tractor field alpha, where Sir dominates the future. That will take us to a tractor field beta, the beta world line within its range of convergence, to a future without Mayuri's death. Mayuri is standing next to me, gazing intently at the monitor. She grasps my hand firmly. <laughs> She looks anxious, so I pat, pat her head to calm her down. Dara stands up and gestures to the open sea. <laughs> I sit down and face the keyboard. This time. This time it ends. Whose face floats through my mind. This seems like a good point to save. I close my eyes and take a deep breath. Goodbye, Kurisu. I slowly raise my right hand. I extend my index finger. Dara twitches at my cry. Push the fucking button. Push the fucking button. One press this key and Kurisu will die. I firmly grip my coat at the shoulder, where it has been stitched together with jagged pink thread. I wish for Mayuri to, Mayuri to live and Kurisu to die. That is the truth, and I must never forget it. This is the choice of Okabe Rintaro. I swing down my finger and strike the enter key. Descend! Whoa! 1.13. After a while, the spinning stops and color gradually returns to the world. Reading Steiner activated. The world line has changed. Look around the room. Next to me is Daru. Behind me is Mayuri. I reach out to her, and she takes my hand with a smile. Everything is where it should be. It looks like nothing has changed at all. I gently touch my coat's shoulder, where Kurisu fixed a torn seam. It's gone. My coat isn't torn. The stitches, uneven from having been sewn in the dark, have disappeared. There's no trace of that ridiculous pink thread. I stand up and head to the development room. Underneath the table, the time leap machine. No, that's not the time leap machine. That's the phone wave. Name subject to change. The upgrades Kurisu made are gone. We never met Makisi Kurisu. Nothing has changed. This world is exactly the same. No respects save one. Kurisu was never here. I thought that I was prepared for this. But now that I'm face to face with the cruel consequence of my decision, I feel powerless, defeated. I want to cry. Okari, どうしたの? Once again, I got up and uh, walked off. Mayuri runs up and grabs my arm. No, Mayuri. What? What? Laboman number 004. I need to ask, even though I know what the answer will be. Zero zero one. Okari, 
カリンラゴメンはねオカリンとマユシーとダルコの3人しかいないよ。Oh, so Existence was rejected by the world. Okari, Nanika, can I see Koto Gatandana? Moody rubs my back. Maya Sivane Okari, no Tsukarani, not the Hagetaya. I embrace Bayuri. I stifle my voice and cry. Okari, Nakanai de. マユリはどこにも行かないでくれずっとそばにいてくれ頼むよマユリテンドリーストロークスマイヘッドマユシーはずっと一緒だよこれまでみたいにずっと All trace of Kurisu's existence has vanished. Yes, it has. The power that I had has proved that I have returned to my original world mind. This is the world I struggled to reach. The world Suza had traveled through time to create. A world where the future is free. Nothing has changed. This is my utopia. Oh, okay. That's it then. Stardust sky. Oh, okay. There's more. The night of the seventeenth passed. The night of the eighteenth passed, and Mayuri still didn't die. I've kept a close watch for three days since then. There've been no attacks, no accidents, 
no sign that anything might happen. That was enough to convince me that Mahuri is safe. Together with Daru, I destroyed the Fort Wave and the IBN 5100. Although we have lost the ability to send emails, that is a small price to pay to stay below Surin's radar. Tenoji is downstairs in the Broad Tube Workshop, watching TV on the 42 inch CRT, like always. When I went to check out Radio Kaikan, I found it open for business as usual. Because Suza's time machine landed properly on the roof instead of in the roof. I searched the internet, turned up no mention of a satellite crash. We did see a satellite. That first day before we time lapped for the first time. Or uh, before reading Steiner activated for the first time. Instead, I found a small article at the loca in the local section of a newspaper dated July 28th was a report on Kurisu's murder. There was no follow-up. The culprit is still at large. According to Daru, the police questioned me several times. It was I who discovered the body, after all. Of course, I don't remember any of that. At any rate, my duty is still alive. I've accomplished what I set out to do. It's over. Okay. And yet it continues. Mayuri emerges from the ticket gate, waving her hand as she runs my way. She weaves through the gaps between shoppers and maids, handing out leaflets. When she gets to me, she looks at me with puppy dog eyes. And then the building explodes and we die. Uh, Mayuri? Mayuri doesn't answer me. She just strokes my cheek, gently, silently. She's crying, which doesn't even seem sad. Rather, she seems overcome with emotion. おかりおかりに来てくれたんだね。マヨシーのことわざわざ待っててくれるなんて。嬉しいよ。そんなことでいちいち喜ぶな。Wipes away her tears, making room for her shy, innocent smile. Anone, Mayushi wa Okari no hitojitsu kara koi bito ni kurasu chenji shita nda yo ne. Oh, iko ni mo. I suppose she did. I have no idea how to respond to such an embarrassing question. So that happened. But she's right. Mayuri and I are officially a couple. For these long, painful twenty days. Finally, noticed how important my duty is to me. Plus, she told me that she loved me. よかった。夢じゃないんだ。いいかな。さっさとラボに行くぞ。こんな草ついところに立っていたら日射病で死ぬ。え？でもね、ラボだってすっごく暑いよ。Gotta get my daily dose of Dr. P. It's Sunday. Despite the heat, I see plenty of shoppers laden with bags and showing themselves on the streets of Akiba. I suddenly feel a void in my heart. The thing about this town has changed. And it feels like something is missing from my life. No doubt it's the gap that was left by Kurisu. There's no such thing as a perfect future. That is a fantasy that nobody can realize. I mustn't forget. This is the future I wished for, fought for, and won. I have what is most important to me, Mayuri. I should be thankful for that. I am blessed far beyond the common man. Beside me and realize that Mayuri's not there. What? I turn around. She's not there either. What? Mayuri? She's gone. What? She's always like this. Sometimes she just wanders off. Anxiety seizes my heart. Mayuri promised she would never leave me. This world line is worthless without her. Mayuri! I shout her name at the top of my lungs. I search for her in the crowd, but it's too thick to see. Mayuri! Don't fucking spook me! I turn around to see Mayuri running toward me. Jesus Christ. And her 
and his shaved ice. Better than Dr. P, I guess. <laughs> I feel so relieved. I want to embrace that small body of hers. But we're in public, so I stop myself. I take the shaved ice and hold my empty hand out to Mayuri. takes my hand. Her slender fingers intertwine with mine. かき氷は。ラボまでお預けだ。路上で食べたら迷惑だろう。え、でもね、溶けちゃうんじゃないかな。しょうがないだろう。そっか。うん、しょうがないよね。手を繋いでたら食べられないもんね。I mean, I could shove it in my face like this, but... Uh, but... Mayuri puts just a little more strength into her grip. Love for her fills my heart. Suddenly, Mayuri looks up at Radio Kai Khan. Okari? You stop saying terrifying things, Mayuri. I just want to have a happy ending. Dream? So it's a hakuchum to you, Yatsuka. So you who knew of no Okari Monosidane. Anone, so they got a little car, Karana in the kettle. Mayasi knew a totemo ties it an automatic guy, Takigasirano. その大切なお友達のことを考えるとね、すごく切なくなって胸のあたりがキュって鳴るんだ。たまにね、声も聞こえるんだよ。声って幸せになりなさいって。Okay, that 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 was worth bringing up. We found happiness, right? All of that was undone. He raised those memories, sacrificed them. You still keep forgetting that you're not the only fucking one who retains memories. Well, I don't know if that's supposed to be different by the fact that we left the uh, Alpha World Line and made it to the Beta World Line. I don't know if that's supposed to be fucking different, but we're here. One way or another. Perhaps everybody remembers their experiences from other world lines. That's literally what we started finding out right bef before we made this choice. Or did you forget it amidst the uh, seemingly endless uh, emotional contemplation? Those memories may be vague and tenuous, but they're there. They speak to us in the form of dreams, visions, and deja vu. <laughs> I'm not the only one who remembers. Mm. Thanks, God. Last handshake. Mayuri looks up. She reaches out to the sky, like always. She shakes hands with the stardust, twinkling beyond the coat of blue. I look up too, to hold back the tears. And on we walk, hand in hand. That was 
the Stardust Sky. Was unsure whether that was going to be a Kurisu save ending or a Mayuri ending. I'm not 100% sure what decided that. The only really phone choice that came down to was, uh, on the roof with Kurisu when Mayuri called and then Mayuri texted. I... I don't know. I don't know how to change the ending I got here. Overall, the chapter was... It made sense why we uh, transitioned back into uh, just a drawn out emotional angst because it really was it really was an emotional decision it's just the way it was written and I feel like that's a flaw of the game at certain parts where a lot of the writing is just really drawn out it feels like you can cut 10% of the game's t text make everything more concise and it would make the game a lot better instead of causing scenes to drag out the way they do sometimes. And, but really kind of took me out of it late, but the ending was nice. It got me back, sort of. It's nice to see, finally, resolution of uh, Mayuri's story. And really the story of the game. I mean, there's gotta be a better ending one where we don't have to sacrifice Kurisu, who we very clearly have feelings for, and one where we don't have to sacrifice either girl, her best friend, and uh, her other love interest. But I don't know. We're getting close now. So we'll see what happens going forward. I might experiment with that phone choice, see if that's where things change. But if not, I might need some advice, so. That was the end of Stardust Sky. Mayuri's ending, so to speak. Just to, uh... Yeah. Stardust Sky is Mayuri's ending. Still looks like we're missing a chapter achievement. We have these. Paradox Meltdown. Feels like we're missing a whole different chapter. No, not this. I feel like these are just ending names, but that was a chapter. Definitely missing a whole lot of something. So that'll be some... requires some examination. Hopefully I'll have it sorted out by the time I return. Until then, until then...